Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful, beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Uh, also drop a like or subscribe and subscribe if you would like that. That helps me out a lot. So there you go. Thank you very much. Today I thought we would fix this little issue we were having with... Uh, uh, also, just make sure you have this, all right? The view, send in the view here to update mouse position. I think I did that in the last video, uh, so just but just make sure you do that. Uh, anyway, what we're looking to fix is the rendering of all of these items here. Now, you can see we're setting the view when we're rendering the tile map. Um, but, 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 but. One thing we could do... Hmm... You know what we're going to do? We're going to customize it. So we're going to render the tile map with this view. Then we're going to render the buttons with this view. And then we're going to render the GUI and Steve. Uh, I'm going to render this with the default view. All right. So P menu with the default view. Uh, why did I do set X there? Okay, so I'm going to render buttons with this view. Tile map with our game camera. And then the GUI, within the GUI, I'm going to customize some shit. So I'm going to actually render the uh, the selector rectangle, our green one, with our game view. All right. And then I'm going to render the texture selector itself is, is going to be rendered with the uh, window get default view. Okay. And once that's done, <clears throat> we're going to render the cursor text with the game view. Okay. And the reason I have this... Wait, why is this bugging out? Uh, target dot. Because the reference. Target dot. Target dot. Okay. So there you go. So the reason I'm doing it for every one of these, I could basically put this above here, put it in here, stuff like that, order it like that. But the thing is, I want to render these at different positions different kind of um, what do you call it you know what I mean orders right so I want to order it so I want to I want this to render in front of this that's why I'm doing this and the sidebar should be rendered pretty much in front of everything but that's going to be rendered <clears throat> like that or should the sidebar be rendered you know this is somewhere where we could actually do a little thingy like that. There we go. Okay, so the text is going to be rendered uh, all the way at the front. And then th th that makes render GUI takes care of his own view setting and shit like that. So we don't have to we don't have to do anything. Uh, and then it renders it. Set the view, set the view. And hopefully if I run this, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we don't get any errors. Uh editor so I'm moving the view and the text is where it was before and so is my mouse cursor and so is all this shit so I can still select stuff and I'm at the end here I can still select things and I can draw them out and I can probably still load shit yeah I can still load shit and if you're seeing these artifacts here <clears throat> while I'm moving the camera that won't happen in the future because in the future we're gonna have in the game state we're actually not going to render everything on the screen directly, uh, but we're going to use that target variable to create a render target, uh, a, a texture buffer, whatever it's called, uh, something like that. And we'll print everything on that, make it into a sprite, and then just print that whole sprite onto the screen. So it's one extra step, but it kind of uh, removes all of these uh, artifacts and all the stretching and all the weird shit going on. So you don't have to, uh, to worry about that. We will we will take care of that. So there you go. Now that renders in the proper way. Okay. Now my next step is to actually load everything into the tile map here. Into the game state. I just want to make sure that works. Because I probably have it in a tile map here. I'm going to do it this. Tile map. Dot load from file. And I'm gonna give it the, the give it the name. So I think it was text.slmp. Alright, and hopefully this will load it into the game 
uh, into the game state but i don't think i do render this render this properly yet no uh this tile map tile map render to the target all right now i want to make sure i have this view thing going in game state as well because soon we're going to be working on the game itself and we're gonna yeah we're just gonna work with that so we have key binds i think a view is very very much a top priority so i'm just gonna put it at the top in it <clears throat> view so it's gonna be our camera again we're gonna put it all the way up front view all right uh and i'm just gonna call it view and again, we're going to have a render texture. It's called a render texture, SF render texture. Okay. Render, I'm just going to call it render texture. SF render, no, SF sprite, and I'm going to call it render sprite. So you need these two steps. First, you're going to render everything to the texture, and then you're going to render that or set the sprite to that texture and then you're going to render the whole thing on the screen so it's going to be like a big image just being pasted on so you're, you're not going to have all these small images being pasted all the time because that's what creates this this uh this little jitter style thing in the middle so we don't want that um, and using that sprite is good because then we can use shaders on that sprite as well if we want to or you can use shaders on the individual parts whatever you want to do you can you can decide how you want to do that later once we get to the shader parts. Um, but for now, this is fine. So we're just gonna initialize this here. And here in the game state, I do use class uh, pause menu, class player, class tile map. <clears throat> so I'm just forward declaring those there. I'm pretty sure that's it. Player, pause menu, Pretty much, pretty much. I, I don't think I can do class view like that. Um, SF view, class SF font, class SF render texture. Because I'm using a lot of these. I'm pretty. I'm just gonna try these three. I'm gonna see if forward declaring them here is is okay. Is is a, a good thing? So we're gonna do that and. Uh, Okay, so we have our init view function. I'm just gonna go into init view and I'm gonna say this view dot set size sf vector 2f. Um, and then we're gonna have to do this state data gfx settings resolution dot width. Okay, again, I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but most probably it's not, but we'll we'll figure that out later. Since we don't have a lot of states, it's not that hard to change all of these later on. So I'm just gonna set, oops, I'm gonna set all this shit right here. Height as well, just like that. And then I'm going to keep that set size and I'm gonna copy paste that, set center. And I'm going to put it at 2.f, 2.f, all right? And we'll probably get some warnings from this because it's a unsigned int and I'm casting it to a, converting it to a vector 2f. So we could do static casts on these. Um, but yeah, yeah, we'll just leave it for now. I just want to make sure it works. And then once you have the view you want to call that function. Never forget to call the function itself. This init view. And once the view is set, <clears throat> we can update the mouse positions. I'm going to send this view in here. Don't forget that. It's very important so you get the correct grid position and everything. So you send that view in there. And then we're going to render everything. Okay. So we're going to render this tile map. This, no, target set view this view okay and you probably want to copy that or you want to leave those because that will be rendered with the view as well this will be whoops this will be rendered 
with this window get default view. All right, player render, blah, 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 blah. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, so once that's done, you shouldn't have any more problems. Everything should be rendering properly in the correct views, so to speak. Now, update player input. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new little function here. Uh, void update view. All right, const float dt. So this is going to be our function where we update the view and move it around and everything. So uh, we'll see how what we can do in here. Let's go down to update view. Uh, okay. All right, so update the view. Now, this player. All right, what, what can we get from that? Get set texture. All right. Set position, move, all that stuff. All right, all right, all right. So let's let's open up player again, right here. Now we did work a lot on player, and entity. So entity has the movement component. Let's look at this again. It was a while back we looked at this. Uh, if do we have the if statements here? If movement component. All right. Set position. Sprite set position. Entity set position. Um. Are you serious? So what does the set position? Oh my god, man, this is gonna be pain in the butt to cheeks to to look at again. Move this velocity x. All right, update, update. Okay, so it updates it, and the sprite itself moves. Okay, what does the sprite? Is the sprite a reference? Okay, the sprite's a reference. So when I move that sprite, it moves it outside as well. So we're working on the same sprite. That's remember, that's a good thing to remember that when you're working on these, um, you're working on the same sprite. And the sprite itself is contained in, I think it's contained in player or entity. Yeah, the sprite itself. Sprite, okay. So what we could do, sorry about all that, just trying to figure stuff out. Functions, um, accessors, modifiers. All right, so I'm just going to put this underneath modifiers. I put functions right there and accessors. So I'm going to make an accessor. I'm just going to say, vir no, virtual sf vector 2f get position const sf vector 2f get position like that const and i'm going to return that whoopsie days i'm gonna return that position am i even recording right here okay all right so we gotta end the video soon but i'm gonna return the position so all this is gonna do is this sprite dot get position hopefully that's a const itself yes okay all that's going to do is just return that position and it's going to be very simple we're just going to say this view dot set center this player dot get position and hopefully that simple simple thing is going to work now i'm going to update mouse positions that you put input if it's not paused this update view dt very simple very simple so it's uh underneath the unpaused and let's just run this so this is going to be very simple and hopefully it will load the map and it will oh oof look at that so we have the camera centered right there it should be centered somewhere here but it's centered a little bit off center there but at least that's working. So we have our camera moving with our player. You see that? And we have a map loaded. And it doesn't fit because this this doesn't fit the game art style. The, the character and the dirt and everything doesn't really fit. Obviously, I'm not a maker of these things. But, 
but yeah at least at least it looks looks all right it looks okay um i don't know how to make it make the pixel size that huge because it's very different how all this shit looks but anyway whatever doesn't matter uh but that's it guys and girls that's it let's see if the editor load thing still works yeah what if i change some stuff here and then i say save go quit go to new game Hopefully those will be there. Okay, good shit. That works, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that's cool. We'll work a little bit more on the player soon. Some more cool stuff like HP bars and, and maybe put it on an enemy. Try to attack the enemy and stuff soon. Uh, also, I'll try to get some cooler tiles in because these tiles don't look that nice right now. But still, there you go. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're doing good. Take care. Keep learning. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.